What is up, my graphic designers? My name is William, and in today's episode of GFX, I'm going to show you guys how to make this. What is up, guys? So as you guys know, my name is William. You guys can follow me on Twitter at GFishX, and also make sure to follow the GFX Twitter at GFXMCM. We do a lot of cool giveaways and a lot of stuff out on the Twitter, so make sure you guys go and follow that. There may or may not be a little giveaway uh, in this video, I'll just, I don't know, anyway, uh, at the end of this video, anyway, on Twitter, anyway, so, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something along the lines of this, uh, sweet little banner here, this is a little standard YouTube banner that you can go ahead and throw up on your channel after I show you guys how to make it, it's pretty simple, pretty awesome, as you guys can tell, it looks Sick. Now one thing about me is I always make things and then when I try and recreate them they never exactly work the same and it takes me a second to kind of copy it and figure it out. So be, um, uh, be conscious of that and uh, don't judge me too hard here uh, if I make a mistake or something like that. So this might be a longer tutorial than you guys are used to and that's alright. I take a while to explain things and uh, I'll try and make it as short as possible but no promises there. So uh, let's go ahead and make a new folder, new layer, and fill it with, I think when I started this, I did it with like a dark gray, initially, actually it was a little bit darker than that. Uh, Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to grab this, is this is the green, the official green for GFX, so if you guys want the color codes, there you guys go, it's 99F400, now I've been using this green for a long time, I know how it works. Um, Alright, so pretty simple, you just want to kind of highlight the base. Now this is just the start of it. And uh, you, you just want to kind of highlight the base, kind of even it out here. This is not even, so let's delete that and make a new layer. Um, zoom out a little bit, get a little bit of a larger uh, brush here. Uh, let's see. Two. I don't want to do that. There we go. That looks pretty good. And uh, let's see. Like as you guys notice, that's that bottom finite line that's like right there. Um, so that's how. Oh crap! Of course I would do that. I made a mistake, guys. Already. Boom. I make a lot of mistakes doing graphics. It's, that's why it always takes me a long time to do graphics, uh, especially like stuff people request from me. I just I take my time. What can I say? Green. Go boom, the boom. Take it down a little bit. <clears throat> All right, and then uh, what you want to do is you want to make a big line, like a, like make it like a big brush, and then just kind of boom. There you go. And uh, ooh, that's too much. There you go. You roll it lower. There you go. And then one of my favorite things to do is uh, you grab your polygon lasso tool. You make a new layer, and then you just kind of let's do a 90 degree. Actually, we won't do 90 degree. We'll do Actually, 90 degree will make it a little bit easier. So make about 90 degrees, and then you just hold shift, and it'll be perfect. And then you grab your light brush tool, and then you just kind of highlight around the edges there. And uh, then, once you have your little box there, you just go File, Overlay, and now you have a nice little highlight. Now you want to make a new layer on top of that. Now I, I kind of go in random order. Uh, when I do stuff like this, so you know, I'm I'm a weird graphic designer. I'm not your traditional graphic designer that has to do things in a specific order. The second it goes into my mind, and it's part of like AD, uh, ADD, is the second it goes in, into my mind is when I do it. Uh, so you want to go ahead and render clouds here, and you want to set those to soft, not to the screen, soft light. Lower the opacity. Actually, let's try it over that. Let's do it over there. Right, overlay works too. And, uh, by the way, the clouds is responsible for like 90% of majority of all the graphics that look like this have clouds in it. Uh, the clouds render it's easy to use, it's quick, and it just it gives you that nice effect that you can see on your screen now. Sometimes I'll duplicate the clouds and work in around that, but I'm not sure. I did that for the original. I know that, uh, but I already know it's not going to turn out uh, in the exact same way. Uh, so. <clears throat> Especially because we're already doing different angles here. Uh, so now what you want to go ahead and 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 do is make a new layer on top of this little layer here, and uh, create your symmetrical box again. 
and actually we're gonna want to move that over and now uh, I usually do dark the second time to kind of do an inset thing I didn't mean to do that doesn't matter all right so I'll just go ahead and do a dark layer going into it and we'll set this to overlay and maybe drop the opacity a little bit and that just gives it a cool little effect now I didn't do that on the original one in fact I'm pretty sure I used I know I used a light um, and I did use that oh, I did use dark see right there I didn't I guess that one didn't copy over over there but I did use that dark um, perfect so just like like so so now you have a little dark effect now I usually especially when I'm doing things in this kind of area I will uh, usually just you know boom continue with my uh, polygon lasso tool and uh, darken this one out drop the opacity not actually like do anything to it but just drop the opacity maybe even grab the eraser tool and like kind of clean it up a little bit just that looks pretty good and uh, then I will just continue down the path And uh, we'll do light this time. Or white. Um, and we'll set that to overlay. And we'll drop the opacity. And then, usually with these, you want to uh, make them stand out a little bit. And so you'll like, kind of like fade the bottom or, you know, kind of do the exact same thing that we just did. Add a little dark into it. So there you go. I mean, that looks really good uh, for. I mean what we're trying to do here and um, now I'm gonna do the white box here uh, as you see this is actually a white box and I'll go ahead and show you guys that like if I turn all these like effects off or did I make it I did make it green oh maybe did I make them green I thought I made them white I don't even know where they are right now oh I did make them green originally I think I made them white and then I, tur I changed them to green um, but I mean you guys see how powerful those three layers are right there those three layers kind of you know make the color uh, make it look the way it does with all the glow effect right there so I'm, I'm telling you guys like the the cloud effect plus like a soft brush tool really makes a difference when you're doing graphics in this kind of style here uh, so let's go ahead and let's go above uh, and so right here we'll do we'll do it in the black like we did or like I did in the uh, previous now we just grab our uh, green nope that's not the right green And uh, boom, there we go. Now let's move it over a little bit so it kind of looks even there. Perfect. All right, now we want to select all of this. We're going to group it, duplicate, uh, and then show our guides and then write Command T. We're going to grab, if you hit Alt on your keyboard, um, and then you just drag the line to there and you flip it, it'll be a perfect uh, fit in the uh, center. So it looks really good. Uh, it's a perfect, like, symmetrical fit there. And uh, let's, see, let's try and bump up the opacity here, make it a little bit more cloudier. Uh, all right, now let's. Now I believe this is the point where I threw in the uh, GFX logo. So let's go ahead and throw that logo back in the center here. And initially, I made the logo white, and this is where I got like. I I'm a fan of white, but what I know, like. Gosh, this is a really cool effect, and I've used this on. Gosh, I don't even remember how many occasions. Uh, in fact, do I actually have my grunge tool? I don't even have my grunge brush tools. Oh, but I should have my brushes. So I'm pretty sure I saved them. I just got a new. I like had to switch computers, so I, I tried to uh, copy everything over. So hopefully, I grab my brushes. And I don't think I did. Like I grabbed my shapes, my gradients, my patterns, my swatches, but I did not grab my brushes. Ah, <sighs> struggle. All right. So I'll, I'll have to do this a little bit. I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way and. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the uh, green that we used and then we'll duplicate this layer and then we'll make it white All right, and then we'll go ahead and rasterize this layer and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our erase brush tool and we want to grab Yeah, that'll work, but now we want to go to our brush presets All right, our actual brush tool. now this is where we make like our own brush presets. So which one look better? And these are all the uh, standard brushes that come pre-installed with uh, Photoshop. So I'm making this from scratch, pretty much. Um, yeah, that'll work. All 
Alright, so now we want to go scattering. Scatter it a little bit. Uh, bring it down this one. Just a little bit. Alright, and uh, let's go. I don't even know that angle jitter. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Um, then brush tip spacing. Kind of space it out a little bit. Alright, and let's bring up the size too a little bit. Alright. So now with that set, now we just kind of. Now usually I would use a grunge tool for, or a grunge brush for this, so it would look a lot better with the uh, grunge brush, but since I don't have it right now, I'll just kind of do this. So you just kind of take away from the white, and then you lower the white opacity a little bit, and set it to overlap. Nope, that didn't work. Alright. Never mind. I was going to, if I had my grunge brush tool, I'll show you, because I know how to do it with those, and it's kind of, it looks really cool, and it's kind of like a soft effect, and uh, Apex uses that style all the time. Or he used to anyway, and what I remember seeing. So that was a great thing. I wish I could show it to you guys. I'm kind of embarrassed that I can't. Um, but okay, so for this, now we want to drag this below the um, cloud layer. And uh, we're going to go ahead and write our text out as well. So, And by the way, people who like click and drag to bring their text box, all you have to do is click, and it'll bring it up. I've, I've seen people do that for like, I always see people do that, and it always kind of like irritates me a little bit. Um, it's like there's a lot easier way, you just gotta click. Let's do that. So, you don't have to like click and drag to get, bring your text box out, you can just click. And uh, it gets the job done. Alright, so slash the effects, we're gonna set that to be yeah, a little gray. Uh, perfect, there we go. So, as you guys can see, it's pretty much wrapping up to be almost exactly. I mean, obviously, there's some differences in the uh, banner style. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and go over to the layer styles, we're going to go ahead and add a gradient overlay, select black to white, set this to overlay, uh, set the angle to negative 90, drop the opacity to whatever looks good, that looks good, and then we want to go ahead and add an inner shadow, uh, drop the distance, drop the opacity a little bit, drop the size, bring up the choke. And then bring up the size about one pixel, two pixels. Let's get to it. Alright, bring up the opacity a little bit. And set to overlay. Alright. And then uh, let's just see what this would look like. I'm not sure if this will look good. So that's it. Overlay. I mean because it already has the uh, effect. I mean it doesn't look bad. We'll, we'll leave it. All right. Now what we do is we just copy uh, layer style, and then we'll just paste it on our GFX logo. There we go. And uh, so, I mean, that looks really good uh, for what it is right now. Um, one of the things, like this, is very common in the esport industry. Uh, these kind of uh, styles. So they throw like a person picture, like in here, or in here, or uh, in the background, or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and. Duplicate the uh, cloud layer and drop the opacity a little bit just to give it more of an effect. And let's go ahead and uh, this actually is supposed to go up here. Uh, maybe not. Gosh, I can't remember what I did. I told you I make mistakes when I do that. Did I do one down here? Let's say I didn't do one down there, which is kind of weird because it kind of those fade into it. Um, whereas in here you can see the bottom. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Uh, up here, we'll go ahead and oh, go ahead and just kind of brush up, and then we'll add a little bit to the sides, the sides a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then we'll just kind of. You don't want too much now, but you want enough to kind of you know, make it stand out. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Oh, one thing I know, I remember doing as if you uh, nope, wrong. Default X. Grab a little bit of a white brush and then set that to overlay. It'll kind of maximize the cool effect. And so that's a little bit too much here. Let's drop the opacity. Let's drop the opacity here too. And uh, let's go ahead and just, no, oh white pen. We can do a little white. I didn't do white on the original, so. 
So let me set that to overlay. Make a new layer. Uh, switch that green. And so you see, I'm not even touching the uh, banner. Like I'm not. I'm way far over to the side, just adding a couple dots, um, just to liven up the outside. I'm not doing anything on like. I'm not like putting a brush there. Well, actually, that doesn't. That's not actually a bad idea. <laughs> uh, but those little, those little impressions make a huge difference in it. But. Uh, there we go that's pretty much the uh banner there uh looks pretty cool let's see what it looks like without the uh well, i always do that i don't know why i do that but i always do and it just shows the uh the effect there so boom there you go there's your banner right here and oh another thing that i say with banners is um banners if everyone makes a banner like this where it's like this is where the border is um, one thing I realized is if you save it sometimes you can see the black bars on there so what I did was I made two others uh, two other rectangles that are a little bit further off and so as I design the banner I'll either use I'll use one of the two but I always go by my guides like there um, so that's where it absolutely cuts off but if you save it like this it you that black bar goes away and so that's something that I learned doing banners uh, as well but anyway guys there you go there's the uh, the GFX uh, banner style. I don't. I don't really know what this style is called. It's just like a smoke and a line effect. Uh, one thing that I did on the other banner that I didn't do on here was if you grab your line shape tool and uh, sorry, and you uh, go like that, and you can just draw lines like that and like that. And you do the same thing over here. Just kind of do some cool line line effects and uh, stuff like that and you set that to overlay and then you drop the opacity it looks cool I mean it's not like that really too bad actually Where's you? Uh, but I mean it's not something like you have to do but I mean it does give it an extra cool effect I did do that on the other one but uh anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and uh, let me know what other type of tutorials you guys uh, want to see. I want to start pushing more tutorials on this channel. But uh, anyway, uh, hopefully this recording isn't too long. Uh, and if you guys are watching to this point, you guys are awesome. Uh, make sure to check out the Internship Graphic Design Program. If you guys think this was a tutorial, uh, wait till you guys see what comes out of that. Those guys are awesome. And those once I have that like whole internship program figured out, uh, we will be doing some absolutely sick videos for you guys. Uh, anyway, my name is William, you guys are awesome, and I will, uh, G, F, X, have a G, <laughs> have a G freaking X day, I'm not gonna cut that out, have a G freaking X day, and I will see you guys later, peace.